Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Nuts and bolts again today. Uh, this has to do with a rather complicated situation in the San Fernando Valley. Um, you know, here in the San Fernando Valley, at least according to Hugh Hefner long years ago, there's just the most incredible porn industry, home-based porn industry in the United States, so they say. And the porn industry has certain characteristics, at least so I feel from living here for a long time, uh, certain characteristics that, that make it different from other um, home-based industries. Uh, one of the things I found out is that there's a lot of secrecy about who is actually in that industry. And uh, you may find, for instance, ads in Craigslist that, that are misleading, that seem to be for workmen or like that really have to do with porn and getting free or cheap labor for porn films. Um, and y you won't find the correct address in there. You won't find the correct name in there. There'll be just a lot of effort put into no one finding out really who's involved in that. And instead what will happen is that the person will be redirected uh, to another location that's specifically for porn and that's it like in the neighborhood, you know. And there'll be a to totally different identity set up for a, for a group of people that work out of that house. Um, I, I'm saying this for the young people who don't always, uh, uh, they're not always understanding what's going on when, they, when they're attracted to these kinds of ads, and also for the moms, um, because the dads usually know, you know, what's up, but they tend to protect the moms from what's up, you know, so uh, mothers, they, they need to understand so as to protect their children, because sometimes children go to these places and then they lose their lives, you know. It, it might have to do with revelation of the true identity of the people involved, for instance. So it's very important for young people and for moms to know what's up. Now, I'm speaking specifically right now. Uh, some, of the, some of the internet providers, my internet provider, for instance, in this area, they scoop a bunch of IP addresses together and they, they host them all in the same basket, apparently. And it is possible for people living near each other, for instance, to, to be stuck together in the, same, in the same bailiwick and for their Wi-Fi to be meshed together and for them to be able to snoop on each other's handhelds, phones, and televisions and uh, computers and surveillance camera systems. So, so what is happening right now for me, apparently, locally, although I can't say for sure, is that a bunch of IP addresses which are too close together to be discerned differently by GPS are being stuck together minus one of them and that people elsewhere are able to view my surveillance cameras as if my surveillance camera screen were a television and that they're also able to scoop in on my internet viewing uh, and even take control of my internet and also take control of my cell phone by cloning the SIM card, okay? So all these things are happening now. Porn is being produced in the meantime, probably. I mean, you know, what do I know? I'm just an old retired person, but I think porn is being produced locally. And it, it may seem, because of the intermeshing of my security system with various porn productions that are going out daily, say, after the children get home from school, it may seem that I'm involved because images on my uh, surveillance camera screen, I know this is out there, are meshed in with porn images that are on the two spare channels on my 
on my surveillance cameras, you see. And so the children may get the notion, and I'm sure much preferred by the people who are really doing the porn, they may get the notion that an old retired person is a, is a person involved in porn. And it may seem, because of the, the, the way that the setup is, <laughs> with the spare cameras meshed together with my cameras and the stuff being sent out to the children, it may seem that there's a party going on at my house all the time. You know, this is a very quiet house. I'm a meditator, okay? I'm just here to tell you, all over the valley, people may be being misrepresented as being the, the you know, the people who deal the drugs and the people who, who put out the porn and the people who grab the kids and get free actors for the movies, you know? And actually, they're the, they're the very people that the moms and the children might like to get to know because they're innocuous and, you know, blameless. <laughs> so, so I'm one of those. I'm here to tell you. And there are probably many more like that here in the Valley. All right. I, uh, I hope I've explained well enough what I, I feel may be going on. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know that much about technology, so I might be very off, but... I don't know anything about porn, so I might be very off on that too. But at any rate, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. Come and visit me at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. H-T-T-P-S colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com just to let you know, you're not going to find any of that stuff there. It's a spiritual upliftment and educational website. <laughs> well, that's all for today. I hope this gets to a mom or two. And I hope it's helpful to the young folks, too, because I think they're a little confused about who and where and what is going on because of the Internet, you know, virtual, virtual reality. 